Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. My name is Tanya and today we will learn what is matplotlib inline. So in this video we will learn the following topics. Firstly we discuss about magic function. Then we see different magic function available in matplotlib. After this we discuss inline in matplotlib and then we will learn how to use this inline in Jupyter notebook. So let's start with the first topic that is magic functions. So interactive python provides a collection of several predefined functions that called a magic function and these magic functions can be used and callable by a command line style syntax. So basically there are two types of a magic function one is line oriented another one is cell oriented. So let's discuss each one by one. Firstly start with line oriented magic function. We can also call it as a line magic. These functions start with the percentage sign followed by an argument in the rest of the line without any quotation or a parenthesis. We can say that as same as an OS command line calling of a function and these function return some result. Hence can be stored by writing it on right hand side of an assignment statement. And some of the example of line oriented magic functions are percent allies, percent auto weight, percent color, percent conda and percent matplotlib and many other also. Now understand what is cell oriented magic function. We can also call it as a cell magics. It start with double percentage sign and these functions are followed by the argument in the whole cell that is in the rest of the line and also lines below it in the separate argument and some of the cell magic functions are double percent bash double percent html or double percent javascript and many other also so our main agenda is to talk about percent matplotlib magic function so let's talk about it Basically, this function set up the matplotlib to work interactively. It lets you to activate the matplotlib interactive support anywhere in the interactive python, which we can also say ipython session. Example of ipython is Jupyter notebook. And the syntax to call this function is percentage matplotlib GUI. And here, GUI is the name of matplotlib backend to be enabled by calling the function and we can provide backend as inline notebook qt qt4 qt5 tk pdf and many other also so if you want to see the list of available matplotlib backends i show you how you can see it so the command is percentage matplotlib space hyphen l and then press on run key and you can see the available backends in matplotlib are printed here or you can also check in another way the command is matplotlib sorry percent matplotlib space hyphen hyphen list and now run this you can see that it also shows the same one now from here you see that it also provide us a inline backend. So in the next topic we discuss about this. So you can use the magic function percent matplotlib inline to enable the inline plotting where the plots and the graphs will be displayed just below the cell where you plot the commands. Basically it provides interactivity with the backend and in the front end like the Jupyter notebook and it also provides us another feature where the plotting commands below the output cell of the previous plot will not affect the previous plot which I mean it it separates the different plots for example if I want to change the color of the plot by using the color map it will not affect the previous plot now let's learn how to use this inline function in Jupyter notebook. So here is the example. 
I explain you this example line by line. So firstly, I import the matplotlib library with pyplot module. Then I import the numpy library as np. After this, I write the percentage matplotlib inline before uh, starting the plotting commands to activate the matplotlib inline. After this, I define the data coordinates. Firstly, I define x by using a range function. Then I define y1, y2, y3 by using sine, cos and tan function of numpy. Then I set the new figure size by using the figure uh, function. After this, I add a title to the plot by using the title function I, and I set its font size to 18. After that, I call the plot function three times to plot between different uh, data coordinates which I defined above. First uh, line is plotted between x and y1. The another one is between x and y2 and the third one is between x and y3. And I also specify some styles to these lines like line width and I also add a label to these lines. After this, I plot vertical and horizontal line um, and specify its color to black and then I add labels at the x-axis and the y-axis and also set its font size to 15 and in last I call the ligand function to add ligand to the plot and I also set its font size to the 15. Now I execute this program and you will see the plot. Here you can see how it's look. So I want to clear something. If you are using the current version of a IPython notebook and the Jupyter notebook, it is not necessary to use the percentage matplotlib inline function, which we are discussing as whether you call the matplotlib show function or not, the graph output will display in any case. I will show you if I erase this function, what will happen? Is graph is visible or not? Now I erase this and now I execute this program again. See, the plot shows without any error. And I clear one thing more. If you are trying to use this matplotlib inline in PyCharm, it will show you the syntax error. Or if you want to use it in a spider, it also shows you an error and if you want to use it in a visual studio for this you have to add the extension Jupyter node. So if this video was helpful click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and have a great day.